So the first thing you're going to want to do in order to animate the car on the road is to open up the front once again. And you are going to click this arrow underneath plane, click offset from plane, go to the bottom of the front and extrude it by 0.5 inches out. Then you're going to go to the tire assembly you created and you're going to make the XZ plane visible, just like that. You're then going to save both the car and the tire. Then you are going to create a new assembly and you are going to place the road, just like that. Then the first thing you should do is ground the road. Then you are going to place the car then you are going to place the four tires. So the first thing you are going to do is zoom in on the car and the tires, and you are going to constrain, then insert. Click the tire, click the axle, and you're just going to do that for each of the tires. Just like that. Then, once you have all of your tires attached to the car, you're going to click Constrain, and then you're going to set it to Mate, and you're going to choose this work plane at the bottom of the car, and you're going to choose the top of the track, just like that. Then, you're going to zoom in, and you're going to see this little plane, or the not the plane, this axis that you created through the front of the car. You're going to select that, you're going to select this and make constrain them. And make sure the offset is set to zero. And you're just going to click apply. Oop, there we go. Then you are going to constrain and click transitional. And click this little surface and the surface. If the car decides to decide to flip to one side, just choose the other surface tube off the car. And you're going to apply, and you're basically done with constraining it. Then you're going to go to Environments, Inventor Studio, Parameter Favorites, and you're just going to click Road and make sure Drive Me is favorited once again. You're going to click Parameters, just click OK. Open up Animation Favorites, and then click Drive Me. Then just set this to 1000 by deleting the decimal, and then set this to 30. And just make sure the car goes around the track. One of the things the car will do is clip through the bridge. That is perfectly normal. It's supposed to do that. So just go back to the beginning. And if it decides to do this, just pull it forward a bit until it goes around the first curve and is facing the right way. And then just have it go back to the beginning. So then click OK, and if you get an error like this, you're going to just click OK, and then change this value. If you followed this tutorial, just change the value to 400, and then click OK again. Then you're going to send it back to the beginning, and now you are going to get it to go up and over the bridge. So you're going to click Constraint, then you're going to go to the road, and from the constraint, you're going to find the constraint you use to mate the bottom or this uh, work plane to the road. So you're going to, for me, that's mate one. So I'm just going to click mate one. I'm going to have the end height be the height of the bridge. So for me, that's eight. And I'm just going to drag this forward until I feel the right point for it to start going up would be. So it looks like 14.8. So I'm going to click specify and click 14.8. And I'm going to go to right about there when the axis is sticking through just on the top. And I'm going to select that. Maybe I'll go a tick forward. So 15.9 seconds. So it should do that. Then I'm going to go to about there. And I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to constraint. Click the same constraint. Have it start at 8 and at 0. Have it come forward a bit. Start there. Click Specify, have it start where I currently am, and then have it end. We'll set it to that for now, then I'll go a tick forward and set it to that. And I'm going to click OK, Just bring it forward, have it come back to the beginning. 
I'm going to zoom out a little. And I'm just going to click play. And now the car will go around the corner and should go up and over the bridge. And now you have the car animated. So you can just finish Inventor Studio, save it, just ha save it as something like Final Assembly, and you're good to go.